we're doing something a little different today. You gotta speak up because it's really loud. I'm just letting you know. It'll be easier for me to do this since you're driving fast and it's so loud in here. <coughs> I want to go talk. <coughs> and then, like, <coughs> some saliva like hit the back of my throat. <coughs> do you want to switch seats? So we're doing something really different today. Unnecessary. We're filming on a Thursday. It's... We both have the day off. That's completely unnecessary. So we're going Stop. for a road trip. Stop. Stop. We told me to speak up. Hi, I'm Paul. And I'm Kat. We've set out on a mission to find beloved items from the past, meet new people, and make new memories for the future. We're obsessed collectors with a never-ending love for all things pop culture. We hunt for comic books, toys, or anything that brings back that nostalgic feeling of, ah, uh, I remember that. Together we are comic chips, and we'd like you to come along with us for our journey. Hope you're up for it, because this is going to be one interesting ride. also follow them on Instagram. Oh, really? Yeah, and they're always posting really cool stuff that is right in our wheelhouse on Instagram. Oh. Like, very cool stuff. It's apparently referred to as a toy, comic book, sports card, and collectible superstore. Superstore? Yeah. I've kind of been eyeing them up for a while. Oh, have you? On Instagram, anyway, yeah. Okay. I don't know if we follow them on the comic trip account or if it's just me or mine, but they post some really cool stuff. Like some drool-worthy stuff. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> Do you have your phone so we can get directions? Do you not have your phone? You're messing with me. Where's your phone? Come on, this isn't funny. You don't have your phone. Why? Why don't you have your phone? You do. You have your phone. <laughs> no, Where, is it? Where is it? Hi, I'm driving. What's up? No, I don't believe you. I don't believe that you did that again. Where's your phone? Vincenzo, can I have her phone? <laughs> Where's your phone? Look up directions to time warp, to time warp comics. Open 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. I'm sure they're not open till 10 p.m. Wait, is time warp comics in New York or New Jersey? It's in like Harwick, New York, or something. It starts with an H. This says 555 Pompton Ave, Cedar Grove, New Jersey. Cedar Grove, New Jersey is North Jersey. It's really Real Housewives love. Real Housewives of New Jersey, they live up there. I would know because I watch it. Kind of Bravo. So this is okay. So this, so there's two Time Warp comics. What a Time Warp! Get it? <laughs> well, well, hold on. Let's see what Cedar Grove. Yeah, the one we want to go to is in New York, but there's one in Jersey. 
Okay. Is it a comic book shop? Yeah, it's it's this one says Time Warp Comic and Games. Okay. This one is Time Warp, the one in New York. 1164 Broadway. Hewlett. I knew it started with an H. Hewlett, Hewlett New York. Sorry. Harwick, Hewlett. Yeah, same thing. But from where we're from, it's the same exact distance. Each of them is exactly two hours from Atlantic City. That's really weird. This one in New York is Time Warp Comics and Collectibles. So what you're saying is we should go to both. I mean, yeah. Why not? I mean, we're going to be up this way, right? Yeah. And we have to drive through North Jersey to get home anyway. That's true. So, let's do it. Okay, so we're going to hit Time Warp Comics and Collectibles in New York, and then let's hit Time Warp Comics and Games in New Jersey. to kill us. Ow! Ow! I got stuck on the steering wheel and it, it just jabbed me in the lip! Oh my god, I'm a fucking mess. I fucking know 
Are you set up? My lip is bleeding. <laughs> like it actually has to be it's more fine. on me. Paul! It's fine. Driving in New York is insane. It's, can you lean back a little? I'm holding the camera steady so it's not shaking like this. <laughs> can you relax? All right, so Time Warp Comics. In New York. And collectibles. <laughs> I dig it. Okay, so it's not a huge space. It's not a really big store. It's not the biggest store we've ever been to, but there is so much stuff in there from floor to ceiling. Yeah, like literally he's got things pinned on like the rafters. I like it though. I like it because I feel that once we actually see this footage, I'm gonna see 10 things that I didn't notice before because I was just filming. Yeah. So Jeff and Nick, they both seem like they're pretty awesome, genuine people. Very knowledgeable. Jeff has been doing this for a very long time apparently. And Nick is his right-hand man, it seems. Nick is very enthusiastic and... He knows his stuff. He really knows his stuff, which is always comforting when a place knows their stuff, but they're not stuck up about it. Yeah. Like, we know everything. You don't know. Yeah, I really enjoy it. They have a great selection of comics. So grab some books, grab some toys, which we'll show you at the end. Oh. Toy. Over, really, overall, really cool. Overall was really cool. <laughs> I dig the place. So now we are, where are we? What are we on right now? Uh, we're on. Where are we? Um, we're on a, some expressway in New York. That's good. Where, I think we're on the Cross Island Expressway. And we're gonna head to Time Warp Comics in Cedar Grove. Uh -huh. So we're gonna check out another Time Warp Comics. Time Warp, Time Warp. Time Warp, Time Warp. Let's do the Time Warp, girl. It's just a jump to the left. Put your hands on your hips. I'll be an easy time. I'm doing the back dust. I'm really driving the insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you saying like that? What do you mean? Like you're like you're octave. Falsetto? Your octave. It, what is that? What is what? Oh, that's the Bronx thing, right? That big ass building. I don't see that. Fucking no. Oh, yeah, it's the Bronx thing. Yeah, that's a. But, it's like a, it's like a, a horse race. Race track. It's a Belmont. It's the it, Belmont. It, it's, it, it's a Belmont. It's the Belmont you race track. You have no idea what you're talking about. It's I just that what outside. you're talking about. I got stuck! <laughs> what is that from? It was one webisode or something where like something got stuck. Yeah, like, it got stuck! And I said it like that and we're trying to figure out what webisode that's from. What is it from? It got stuck! I can't remember, it's driving me nuts. Got us lost.
double time warp. New York, New Jersey. Yeah. You know what's weird? What? How two different stores, completely not affiliated with the same name, are so total two opposite ends of the spectrum. Time Warp New York, back issues, vintage toys, retro stuff, 80s, 90s, even some 70s stuff. Everywhere. Back issues up on the wall. Time Warp New Jersey, newer issues, trade paperbacks, vinyl toys, vinyl toys, games, model kits, model kits, Magic the Gathering cards, Pokemon, you know, Pokemon, almost nothing that Time Warp New York had. Yeah. So that's kind of cool, though. It is really cool. I like it because if we went to the two shops. And, oh, this Time Warp has this stuff. And, oh, this Time Warp has the exact same stuff. It probably would have been a little less... It would be anticlimactic. Right. So, I like the idea of our version of doing the Time Warp is going to both stores. Yeah, that was fun. Let's do the Time Warp. That Again. means... That means you go to Time Warp Comics and Toys in New York, you go to Time Warp Comics and Games in Cedar Grove, New Jersey. Yeah. I liked both, and I like them both for different reasons, because they do what they do well. I'm just excited about that Resident Evil toy that I got from Evan. And I got a Krang vinyl keychain for Jared. I got everyone else things today. Right. Except we got some cool stuff. Got some stuff from Time Warp in New Jersey. There's your little... Okay. Well, you're driving, so relax. Yeah. yeah. So we'll show you everything that we got when we get home. So, this is like a lit... My mind is actually blown right now. So we're up here on the parkway by Bloomfield. Probably exit like, what, 144? 150. We were, we were up there by like 150 when we were talking about this. And we were talking about what we were gonna get for dinner. And he's like, oh, so I guess we're just gonna get Rest Stop Burger King. And I was like, I'm not gonna do that to you. Because literally every time we've ever gone to a Rest Stop Burger King, something either takes a half an hour to make, or they just completely just ruin the order. Like, they don't know what they're doing. So anyway, so I was like, and my, my little wheels are going in my head, and I was like, oh my god, I'm having a craving for something, but I gotta see if they're open. And Paul was like, let me guess, you want your cheese curds? Literally, it could have been anything. And he guessed Diesel and Dukes in New Brunswick that has poutine. It's like the only place in Jersey that has poutine. That's right by my mom's house, and it's right off the parkway if we go to Route 1. You picked the place I was literally having a craving for. I just, I don't understand how you did it. Well, it's because we're connected. Oh God, you complete me. I love you. I love you. It's just, uh, I'm just like, I'm sitting here and I'm in a state of... Huh? <laughs> so, I'm going to go to Diesel and Dukes. It's in New Brunswick. Wait, Where? so you made that decision? We're going? Oh, yeah. It's so far out of the no, way. It's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. We're, so we're on gonna... the Garden State Parkway, and you want to go to New Brunswick. Yeah, I'm going to get off on the Woodbridge exit, which is two towns over from New Brunswick. Two Literally, really big towns. Not even. This is coming from somebody who's lived in South Jersey their whole life and has no concept of Central Jersey whatsoever. And then coming from somebody who's literally lived down the street and who used to take these exits all the time. You're gonna argue with me? You forget that I date you and for the first seven, eight months that we were dating, I was coming up to see you in New Brunswick, which is, I have to get from the parkway off of there and Diesel and Dukes is in New Brunswick, which is not near the parkway. I'm just saying, I'm getting off on an exit that they don't have Parkway North. I'm getting off a secret exit. Nobody knows about the secret exit. It's a secret New Brunswick resident only exit. That's much closer than what you know. 
know what the best part about Time Warp in New Jersey was? What? The guy standing on the end aisle and texting via T9. Oh, with the sound on his phone. It's like beep, beep, beep. I don't know what the character has actually been, right? And the rest, they can just do whatever they want because there's no expectation. Flip phone. Deed, deed, deed. F. Deed, deed. R. Deed, 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 deed. Z. So loud. I didn't. Effort. Maybe it's been. Maybe. What was he trying to spell? Was he having a stroke? Because remember, the last button on the keypad is WXYZ. So if you're typing by T9, it's just so many numbers you have to press. Yeah. It's a good time. We had a good time today doing the time warp. So many videos. You know, we're gonna have to rewatch. It's all your fault! We have so many videos. You know, we're gonna have to rewatch like 30 episodes to figure it out. I know. I know it didn't happen in season one, so there, no, we, we have to watch 20 episodes. I got stuck! I got stuck! Bro, oh, what is that from? I don't remember! You lose my mind! <laughs> I don't remember!